Hi everyone, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melody, and in today's video, I'd like to share with you a Timu haul. And let me tell you, it took a while for these items to get here. I did receive a $5 credit, and it did take some time for these items to get here. I'll say it took about a month for me to get the items in this bag. Actually, I've got multiple bags because they ship them separately. Okay, the first item is this mosquito catcher. I don't know if you can see, but do you see this box? Like this is this is how I got it, which is fun. You 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 kind of expect it because they come in bags, but but dang, this thing is really it's really tore up. So here, I did purchase some little sticky things that go at the bottom. I've already put those away. I guess I shouldn't have done that. They came at a different, it's weird. Like this is literally four different shipments. Like it's two orders, but four shipments, they split everything up. The sticky things came separate with something else. So I've just kind of bundled them all here together and we're just gonna do one big haul. And the sticky things, I think I just put those away, but it's basically a round sticky thing that you put at the bottom and it was purchased separately. You plug this in and I'm not sure, can you guys see that light? See the light? So it has a small fan going and I think what it does is it kind of attracts the bug to the light and then they get sucked in and then they get trapped to the sticky thing I'm supposed to put in there. Here it is working. And I'm gonna unplug it so I can show you. It really does work, it's great. As you can see, I've caught five gnats. You know those little bugs that get in the plants? You know the little ones that come in the soil? And so far we've caught five. We haven't caught any mosquitoes yet, but I think that's because we, we haven't had any get in the house yet. So I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna catch them too. I really like this so far. I think it was worth the $9 and almost, well, almost $10 I spent. Thumbs up for me. These are the little sticky things that you put in the bottom. It has a, pe a, a thing you peel away and then you just place it at the bottom and the sticky catches the bugs. Works great. And you know, it never, it never fails in the summer you always get one or you know you always get those mosquitoes in the house and i i plan on setting this next to where my husband sits in the living room because for some reason they really like to bother him so i did get because i really enjoyed the the building blocks i don't know what version this is but it's lots i creative lots ideas but do you see the box is banged up and i mean it's just a bunch of little micro building blocks I thought, I don't know why, but I really enjoy putting these types of things together. I find it relaxing, but also stressful. It's, it's weird, but I enjoy it. And it's like a little haunted house. Do you see that there? It's got like the little, but these are the micro, micro blocks. And I was like, why did I order that? That's gonna be so hard. But I think this will be kind of fun to put on my mantle around Halloween or even now. Oh, yes. Speaking of building blocks, I bought some more of these. And actually, I never hauled this, but I did. Let me show you. Whoa. This was kind of a birthday treat for myself. I did buy this in February. It's a little My Melody. It's got her little house. Well, not her house, but like her little ice cream shop. And I liked it so much, I wanted to place the others on my mantle with some lights, just for summer and spring, just to make it kind of fun and whimsical. I know, I'm probably too old for all this, but that's okay. This is the same brand as the My Melody. And, oh yeah, let me show you. Does it show you on the back? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I bought this one. I plan on putting this together. And then I got cinnamon roll. 
And as you can see, the boxes are so banged up. My, my husband is a collector and he was like, if I got those, I'd send those right back. Cause he's, he's a collector. Okay. I'm telling you, like he has Lego sets that he's bought. And if the box has, he, he's very particular. He makes sure it has no bit, nothing, no dents, no nothing. He has to have like the box with it. I'm telling you those collectors, they gotta have it perfect. I'm not. I'm actually gonna throw the box away when I'm done. So, but I got cinema roll. Hello Kitty. And then there's another one. Is it Pomperin? I'm probably saying his name wrong. He's the little pudding, he's the little dog with the pudding shop. And I don't have that one. I need that one. And also Kiromi has her own little shop too. But those have been back ordered, so I'm just waiting. And then I can have my little my little Hello Kitty Sanrio Village on my mantle. I got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff in here. So here's another item I bought. I think this was around 48 cents. My husband barbecues a lot in the summer and I thought he would like this. Of course I got it in pink because that's my favorite color. But you know, taking it out to the grill and you can already have your sauce in there and you don't have to worry about the bugs getting in it because it's got the lid. And what I like about this other than the whole idea of it is it has this little divot up here. So your thing, it won't fly off or, you know, it won't come off. It'll, it'll stay on there. So I got one of those for barbecuing and I've been seeing these all over Instagram. I think I paid 88 cents, 88 cents, but it's like a, a multi tool delinter. So it has this one side here with like metal. Like How about that? And what I didn't show you was, I, was, I Pixie, stop please. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So this wasn't all of the hair. Here's, Here's the rest of it. And that was using the metal side. That's amazing. Look, I got more. So not bad for 88 cents. 88 cents is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Look at this pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Oh. I did get a couple more trivets. Well, coaster and then a trivet. I really, I really like the other one that I got. And I actually found a really good use for it. I've been putting it underneath a planted pot that I have. And it just looks kind of pretty because it peeks out just a little bit. And uh, this one, I think I'm gonna use in the kitchen though. I don't know. Yeah, this one I think I'll use in the kitchen. And then this one, I wanna use in my room. You can't have too many coasters. Or maybe you can. Oh, someone's getting into, someone's getting into mischief. I thought this was pretty, you know, the Sakura, the cherry blossoms. Gidget. Hey. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Okay. You leave that alone. Okay. Be good girl. <laughs> Pixie's like, I'm always a good girl. All right. This item here, I bought just for fun. My birthday was around the corner and I was just like, wee, I'm treating myself. You guys know how that is, right? Only I, I, I went to Timu and did it because I can get more stuff. I bought this really cute strawberry bowl. And it's in a heart shape. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. So cute. And look, the little things look like hearts. 
And this actually came in the styrofoam thing and it's and it's not cracked, like you can tell. You can hear it, you can hear it go all the way around so you know it doesn't have any fractures. So nice. This is really pretty. You like that, Pixie? She's looking at it. She's like, hmm. Okay, I bought this for my husband's car. It helps you to scrape, you know, you get that fog. I actually have something that I really like and it's in my car and I did buy one for my husband. It's got the long stick with the little thing at the end that you can clean. I'll, I'll insert a picture here so you can see it. And I really like that. I should have added that into one into my favorites video because that I love. I loved it so much I bought him one. But this I thought I would give to him because it's smaller and he can keep it in his little glove box. Kind of shiny. There we go. Oh, it works for cat hair? Let's try it. Yeah, it seems to work. I got this pack of pens, six pens. If it's got my melody on it, I'm usually going to want it. So it came with six pens, different designs. Okay, this is a little weird, but I wanted it. I've worked in healthcare for a while. And so when I saw this, I was like, that's up my alley. It's an IV bag for your plants. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I, it's a novelty, but I had to have it. So you fill it up with water. Don't even ask me how you fill it up with water. How do you fill it up with water? Oh man, do I need a syringe? I don't have a syringe. Okay, I'll need to figure out how I fill it up with water. Maybe this comes off. Yes. Oh no. Was I not supposed to do that? I don't know. Well, you fill it up with water and then it has this dial here. <laughs> this dial here. But I don't think that works for anything. Oh yeah. And then you turn it, I guess to let you adjust how much water flow comes out. And actually, you're not supposed to take this off. And I did, but I think it's fine because it has a plug up there. Can you guys see? Yeah. So I have to figure out how to get the water in there. I guess you fill it up through this hole here. Like I said, it's a novelty. I wanted to have it because I'm weird. But yeah, I thought that'd be kind of fun. I don't know. I'll have to keep you guys informed on how well that works. I think it'll work good. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, sorry, Gidget. Okay. Oh, this item, it's a drill dust cover. I actually have my drill here. We're not gonna try it out, but I'll show you how I think it's supposed to go. How I think it's supposed to go. So basically, whoa. Oh, okay, yeah. So, wait, what? Okay, so it's this little cover thingy here. It comes apart. And then it has these, has these bristles there. And then that goes here. And then this keeps it in place. Here's the, how does that work? Oh, that's easy. So you just take your drill, please ignore the, the rusty drill bit, and you just put it in the hole. Get it in the hole, okay. <laughs> and then you do your thing. Like if this was a drill, you know, if I had the drill bit, I called this a drill bit, didn't I? It's not a drill bit, but let's pretend it's a drill bit. You put it in there and then you just do your thing and hopefully the dust stays in here. So if you wanna do a quick bzz bzz in your living room or whatever, hopefully the dust will stay in here. I'll keep you guys informed on this. This one, I couldn't resist. It's getting messy in here, but that's okay. We're gonna leave it like this. 
we're not putting on a show. We're just, this is real. Oh, how about another trivet? I forgot. You can't have too many of these, in my opinion. Honeycomb trivet. All right. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how well these are going to work for my hair. So... I think I'm supposed to put them in like this. I mean, you can see I don't have a lot of volume and I think you do like that. I don't know, <laughs> just do it like this. I think you put them in your hair. You know, a lot of these things don't come with instructions. So I'll have to look at the website. Am I doing this right? Well, I guess you do it when your hair is wet or blow, and then you blow dry it or. Well, anyways, you're supposed to, it's supposed to give you volume at the roots. So I'll try these out and we'll see. I'm gonna get my hair back up. It's driving me crazy today. That's why I put it back in the first place. I'm a cat that is addicted to licking plastic. It's just crazy. Pixie, no, it's not healthy. She says, I don't care. It's my vice. Okay. All right. The next item is this. All right. <laughs> I have a new screen door now. <laughs> that poor door had had it. I, I was kind of forced to get the replace the screen door. But I had ordered this well before buying the screen door. It's basically, it's a patch. Like, it's a screen door patch. Which, by the way, I already need to patch up a few holes. Gidget. <laughs> she likes to climb it. It's crazy. So you peel it. Do you see that there? There we go. And it has, wait. So you're supposed to peel it and then stick it to your your screen door, but I'm peeling it, but it's not sticky. It's sticky here, so, okay, be careful when peeling it. I was peeling it, so there's, you have the backing that you throw away, then you have the sticky stuff. See, it's kind of lumpy there because I put it wrong, or I placed it wrong. And then you have the mesh. So you take this part and you stick it to your screen door and it covers a hole that you might have. But like I said, now I have a screen door. I don't, I know how to replace the screen, but this'll make it so I can make it last longer. Hopefully, we'll see. I actually have a sewing project coming up, which reminded me I needed some sewing things. Well, I went to, well, not Hobby Lobby. I went to Joann's. They are expensive. So I found these. These are, there are 10 pieces in here. It's a needle threader because I'm getting older and my eyes aren't quite as good as they used to be. Why can't I open this? Okay, so I'm getting older and it's a little harder to thread a needle when I'm hand sewing. So, oh my gosh, look at how tiny that is. So I bought this, I thought this would help. It's kind of hard to focus, but it's supposed to help you needle, thread your needle on your sewing machine. I got this one. It was a pack of 10. I figured, you know, you never know. These things like this break very easily. I also, for hand sewing, I mentioned hand sewing earlier. These, I bought, I think there's 20 in here. I mean, I think I got all these for under a dollar. Or wait, this was, this might have been a dollar something. But let me tell you, if you, they, they sell these at Daiso as well. I don't know if you can. There we go. They sell these at Daiso as well, and they're probably a better quality. But I saw these and I was like, you know what? These break so easily. There we go. These break so easily. I'm gonna buy them. So I got a pack of 20. 
I also picked these up. Because, again, eyes. It's getting harder to see those little holes on those needles. This is for the sewing machine specifically. So if I can't get the other one to work, maybe this will help me. They had a video on their website showing you. There we go. Do you see that? That's supposedly, it's going to help you needle, thread your needle. And this was a pack of five. We're getting down to the wire here. All right. I actually bought multiple. I actually bought, I think, four or five of these. These are for, you know, when you do cricketing or card making or anything, the little bits and pieces you want to get out. This is a pen, a pen needle. Like it's a, a needle and a pen. And I've bought these. I bought something similar off of Amazon and it did not last long. So this was so inexpensive. I bought, I think four or five of them. But yeah, so you can just, doot, doot, you can poke it and get the little pieces out. I have a cat that has asthma. So I saw this on Timu's website and I thought, okay, maybe I should get that. Well, I didn't. And her asthma has actually gotten worse. So she is now on medication for it. And um, I don't know what to say. It, I'm still struggling with that. Um, it's not easy. So I bought this thinking this might help or if I needed it in an emergency situation. And I will say, I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I feel better having it. Because right now she's using an inhaler. And, um, yeah, <laughs> good times, but we want to keep her healthy. We love her. She's a sweetie pie. She's a sweetie pie. So what I'm looking at here is I did write down, I paid $21.48 for this one on Timu, but the cheapest one when I was looking it up was $36.99 $36 was the cheapest one that was similar to this. Now, if you needed something right away overnight, definitely go to Amazon. But I I don't know. I have to tell you though, getting her medication from Canada took a month. So, and I only bought it from Canada because it was $300 otherwise. And I paid $50 from Canada, you guys. I guess we could probably have a topic about that. Or if anyone has a cat with asthma, how, how are you giving them their medication? I saw some people, they make like a, it's like a clear case that you put them in and then you put the, I don't know if I have that kind of energy though. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling. So yeah, if you need this overnight, get it from Amazon because it's going to take you at the very least two weeks from Timu. But let's open this up and uh, look at it. Yeah, at the time when I ordered this, I thought the doctor was going to give her the little nebule, the nebules, the little ampules, but she ordered the inhaler. So either way, it doesn't matter, but the ampules would have probably been cheaper for me, but this is fine. I feel, I feel good knowing I have this in case I need it for whatever comes up. Pixie, stop licking the plastic. She's so crazy. She's she's plastic happy okay so i bought a rechargeable one oh, okay so it also has i guess you can also use batteries and then it has a cord to charge it i'll have to charge it there it's pretty small that's not bad i actually like the compact size so here are the pieces that come with it you get these two pieces here And then you get a child's mask and an adult size mask. So, so yeah, this is all new to us. We don't know, but like I said, at the time when I ordered it, I thought she might get an ampule instead of the actual inhaler. So yeah, there's, you know, there's a pretty big price difference. I mean, a decent sized price difference, 21.48 I paid for this 
versus $36.99 on Amazon. And of course, you know, prices might have changed because it's been a month. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm just saying it's been a month. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I have this and I was able to save a little money on it. You never know. I might need, I actually might need it at some point. So I'm glad, I'm glad I have that. Okay. Okay, I've got this item here. I had to get, because I have a ton of scrunchies. So, oh no, is that cracked? It's cracked. Ugh. Well, I was super excited about it. I mean, I guess I could still make it work, but I don't want a broken. Can you guys see that? I don't think you can. Can you see that? You see that crack in there? Darn it. Well, I'm bummed about that. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll have to contact them. So it's a scrunchie holder. You put your scrunchies in here, or I guess whatever you want to put in there. I'll insert a picture of it off the Timu's website. Yeah, otherwise it would look like that. I guess I could still use it. I could probably just glue it. Since I have you guys here, I might as well show you. So I have quite a few scrunchies, and they're pretty big, some of them. So if you have a lot of floofier scrunchies. I don't know if you'll be able to fit very many in there. Fortunately for me, the crack isn't going to keep it from not working, but it probably just won't last as long as I'd like it to. So here's three, and they're super, super floofy. And then let's put this one in here. Four. And then this guy. Where did I get these? I don't remember now. Five some of these so yeah depending on how big your scrunchies are you're gonna need more um you might need another one of these and i actually kind of i really wanted it to hold these these for me oops that's good i actually wanted it to hold these for me so I might have to decide which ones I want to take out or maybe order another one. So just, just so you know, depending on how big your scrunchies are, you may need more. And these three are pretty fluffy. So, okay. My final item. Also, this is the second bag. Look at those holes. <laughs> these bags, they, they really go through it, get into us, don't they? All right, my last and final item is a scat, scat, <laughs> is this cat scoop litter. Wait, cat litter scooper. <laughs> and here, oh, well, you can see it right here. What am I doing? I'm making everyone dizzy, probably. This is what it looks like. You can see the, sorry about that reflection. There we go. Is that a little better? No, yes, no, probably not. And then... Let's open it up. Let's stop wasting everyone's time. Oh, okay. Okay, so here's the scoop. It has a, a roll of bags down there. So let's open that up. You hey guys, it looks like a it looks scary in here. I got a quite the mess. Okay. So here's the bag. That you can keep a bag down here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Now I'm liking it. I didn't realize it had this. Oh my god. One second. The whole thing unraveled. Okay, this is the smell I'm smelling. It has a bit of a perfume smell on the uh, the bags. It has a hole at the bottom here. So you just feed it through. Like that. I like this. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be handy. And actually... Somebody just went to the bathroom. I've been filming instead of going and scooping it. So uh, we can test it out. I like this. Okay, so I've got the bag. I got it down there. And this is actually what I use for the cat box. I have a bunch of them I bought off Amazon. They don't smell nice like this, but it's okay. And then I guess you do this. 
put the bag over and then it has these little lock these little things you just push it over those and then you turn it to lock it I'll have to let you guys know if I think this is a novelty or not. You know, a lot of times we think we're buying something because it's going to make life easier, but it really doesn't. It's just actually more work. So I'll let you know. And I mean, at least I bought it off Timu, so I, I spent less because I don't know how much Amazon will charge for something like this. I'll have to look it up. Well, as you can see, I've got quite the mess to clean up around me. It's pretty bad, actually. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.